Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Muzz Lightyear. Today we're going to be talking about how you can see into your future and other people's future. Let's start with the idea of habits. How hard is it for you to create a new habit? Whether it's, you know, meditating every morning, reading before bed, exercising four times a week. You know, these are all examples of creating new habits that would add a lot of value to your life. All right, well, what about bad habits? How hard would it be for you to stop smoking, stop eating sugar during the week, stop staying up late at night on your phone in bed? These are all bad habits that, you know, you know would add value to your life if you stop them. So if you already know there are things you can do to make your life better today and things you can stop today to also make your life better, then why don't you do it? Is it a lack of willpower? a lack of motivation, a lack of belief in yourself. Whatever it may be, we can accept that it's hard to change ourselves. Even when we know it's better for us and it would do a lot of good in our lives. Knowing this, why is it that we try to change other people around us? When we can't even control our own mind, what makes us think that we can control others? It's hard enough to change ourselves. So what makes us think we can change others? A lot of wasted time and energy is spent on the frustrations we face with our family or colleagues or even with strangers. But let me tell you something liberating. They're not going to change. So we may as well stop stressing about it. We struggle to change ourselves. So what makes us think that we can change others? People don't actually change. They just become more of the person they already are as they get older and older. It's just like how someone would become more of the person they already are if you give them money. If they're already a generous person, they would just become even more generous. If they were a frugal person that didn't spend a lot of money, then all the money in the world isn't gonna change their emotional pattern of not spending money. Knowing this, we can either use that information to our advantage or disadvantage. We can keep trying to change those around us and keep banging our heads against the wall when they don't change, or we can realize that we likely can't change people, especially if they're adults. And I'm not talking about being able to teach someone something new or, you know, pick up new skills. I'm talking about changing someone's character, changing someone's personality. Because the older someone is, the less elastic their brain is, and the harder it is for a dog to learn new tricks or for a leopard to change their spots. And knowing this can save us a lot of grief in our lives. And we can also use this realization as a mirror to reflect upon ourselves. We can say all we want about the things that we would do if we got this amount of money or if we got that promotion or if we had this much free time. But a person does not live the way they say they would. They live the way they've already been living. What this means is if something was important to us, then we'd already be doing it right now. For example, I kept telling myself that, oh, when I'm financially independent, then I'm gonna take the time to learn how to sail. It's gonna be amazing. I just can't wait till I have a bit more free time to do it. Well, what's stopping me from doing it now? And upon reflection, nothing, nothing at all. I can afford sailing lessons now if I wanted to. I can make the time at the weekend to travel to where I need to be by the water. And yet I still haven't done it. Because like I said, that's because a person does not live the way they say they would. They live the way they've already been living, right? And this is extremely powerful because knowing this about ourselves and others gives us the ability to glimpse into the future of our lives and other people's lives. That, combined with knowing how hard it is to change ourselves and change other people, provides another data point of what we can come to expect from ourselves and from others. These two combined will allow you to look into the future. And that's without even using a DeLorean. All right, guys, that's all we have time for. If you like the video, give a like, helps more people see it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. We got many more on the way. Peace.